The NSRC group has a long-standing partnership with the Research Education Network of Uganda. We've done a variety of engagements with them at several universities in Uganda over the last few years to improve campus network infrastructure and do some training. And one of the recent programs came to us from the Infectious Disease Institute uh, hosted at Macquarie University. It's a facility that has cooperation with Johns Hopkins University and the National Institutes of Health in the U.S. And they wanted to improve the campus network infrastructure for better services at the IDI facilities. So NSRC provided a donation of some network devices, some switches and some Wi-Fi equipment so that they could first of all improve net access in the common areas but then also do some improvements to, to the core of the network for that facility. IDI is uh, Infectious Disease Institute which is uh, an integral part of College of Health Sciences of Makere University in Kampala, Uganda. The primary functions of IDI are to do with uh, research, training, prevention care and treatment, as well as laboratory services in the areas of uh, HIV AIDS and infectious diseases. So some of the key funding partners are CDC, which today funds a number of projects and research studies at IDI, the Uganda Ministry of Health, USAID as well, National Institutes of Health, has been a very, very significant partner of IDI. For instance, at the early stages of IDI's formation, they actually provided uh, internet communication uh, facilities for IDI at that time, some of which still stand here on top of the building. There are very, very many other partners of IDI, including those in Europe, which have funded a number of research studies under the direct engineering assistance, usually we do a plan. We go into the networks of our member institutions, see the gaps, see what we can do, see what they can do for themselves. And most of the time we realize that usually the equipment that they actually have is really non-supported equipment, equipment that doesn't support the growth, the rapid growth of usage and traffic within the institution. The system reads uh, its intelligent character recognition at the moment, we have 13 clinical trials that are ongoing. In a month, we can review 10,000 records in a month of all the studies. So which means we need the internet 24-7. The implementation was great because IDI presents us another challenge. Them being a research institution is different from supporting a university. I think they do quite a bit of sensitive research and they value connectivity so much. For this week I was helping the team that was doing the network redesign um, to come up with things like addressing schemes and configuration for the different routers and switches and as well as showing them how to document their networks so that um, they will be better at being able to share this with their different teams as well as potential partners. So we were lucky that the NSRC was actually able to give us that equipment from other providers like Facebook, Google, and the NSRC helps in that planning process. So they're able to send over the equipment in terms of the switches, the routers, and the patch cables. And you realize that a network that was performing so badly with the replacement of equipment and a few tweaks here and there, the network is now performing so well. And they actually like the idea that someone is out there looking at their problems and we are able to work together to solve that problem. Not as working as an individual, but working as a cooperative and as a group. I also think that the direct engineering assistance is an eye opener to the IT staff of IDI. Uh, I normally talk about best practice, that we do things, but we may do things and things seem to work, but we may not necessarily be doing things according to best practice. But in such a collaboration, our IT team definitely learned a lot of things which they didn't know before. And we want to use this as an opportunity to make them improve on the way they do their work on a day-to-day -day basis.